It's the pernicious purveyor of preposterous pomposity. The King of Connecticut, back here in Berman Raton for the first TBT podcast of 2023. Welcome to Berman Law Group Studios, Miss Jenna. Hi, so happy to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. You're welcome. I have MTV Real World alumni Jenna Lauren, and she is hot off hosting celebrity boxing events this past weekend. Jenna, it's great to have you here in studio in Berman Raton. I'm so happy to be here. I, I love Berman Raton, and it's a beautiful place. The warm weather is just amazing. Now, you're no stranger to warm weather yourself. You were born and raised in South Carolina, correct? Yes, um, I'm a South Carolina girl, uh, fully born and bred. Awesome. Now, talk to us a little bit of what part of South Carolina you grew up in and give the fans just an appreciation of your upbringing. So I grew up um, around Anderson and Greenville area as well as Myrtle Beach. I was kind of like all over the place growing up, but you know, mostly the upstate and the coast area of South Carolina. It's so beautiful, such a small town. Everyone knows everyone. And it's just, it's got so much charm and it's always gonna be home for me. You know, no matter where I go and no matter where I travel, South Carolina will always be calling me home. Awesome. Now, you know, I lived uh, in South Kakalaki, South Carolina myself. Uh, had a house in the Lake Murray area for 14 years and then had a place on Johns Island out by Charleston. I love it. This Yankee boy loves the warm weather. You know, I'm moved to Florida now, and I will never, ever go back up north except to visit. So, Jenna, um, how did you get involved with uh, MTV and the Real World brand? Um, so I, you know, was just a, a girl in a small town, and I was looking to be on TV like everyone wants to be, you know. And I saw an audition, an open call for the real world, and I decided to go for it. And um, I ended up, you know, making it past round after round, and I kept getting calls, I kept getting called back. I had to make a video about where I lived and my life and send that in, and I ended up making it, and I made it out of 90,000 other people. Wow, that's huge. Those are. Those are tremendous odds, and you fought the odds, and you made it on the show. Yeah, I mean, why they wanted a little girl like me from a small town, I will never know, but I'm so grateful I got chosen for that, and I actually went on a plane for the first time in my life when they flew me out to California. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. Share with us um, some experiences of working with MTV and being on that show? Because there were some positives, I'm sure, but they weren't all positive. Um, so, I mean, obviously it was like a show, go big or go home. So it was all about adrenaline and, you know, you know, not being afraid of anything. And I think that's one of the reasons why I made it on the show because I am not afraid of anything. I'm always gonna speak my mind, even if I have a whole cast against me. You know, and yeah. I think that's one of the reasons why um, there was like a little conflict on the show because I obviously like growing up in the South, I had a lot of different opinions than a lot of other people on the show. And, um, you know, being with people that have different opinions, it did help me to grow a lot. So I look at it as a positive experience because no matter what um, battles you face, you just have to make the best out of it. Sure. And I held my own and I did the best I possibly could in an environment where, you know, I wasn't getting along with everyone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I came out on top. I'm still traveling. I'm still 
you know, doing promos and celebrity boxing. Now I'm in celebrity we'll boxing. Talk about. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for every experience I've had. Sure. Now, before we talk about celebrity boxing, I just want to kind of cap off the reality show experience in the real world with, with my own experience. I hosted uh, James Jefferson's Warrior Island reality show, which was similar to UFC's Ultimate Fighter. It was also shot in South Carolina. And I can tell you from my own experience, they were trying to create a conflict with the fighters um, that wasn't really there. And a lot of the stuff was manufactured. This was essentially a clone of what UFC tried to do or, or did successfully, obviously, with the Ultimate Fighter in the, in the beginning stages. It was, goes back a number of years when I, did that sh when I hosted that show. And it's always like that. They want the ratings. They want the conflict. And speaking of ratings and speaking of conflict, Damon Feldman, who's our good friend down here in South Florida uh, with celebrity boxing, I just want to tell the fans just some of the rich history of this celebrity boxing promotion. You had fights like Denny Bonaducci against Barry Williams, who was Greg Brady from the Brady Bunch. You had the Long Island Lolita from the whole Joey Buttafuoco scandal. You had Joey Buttafuoco boxing China from WWF, WWE. They, they have such a rich history and Damon, is a great businessman. He's a great promoter. And I just want to give you the floor to share some of your experiences working with Damon and working with Celebrity Boxing this past weekend. So I met Damon this past weekend. Um, we had previously talked uh, online about me coming down, but this was my first time meeting him in person. And he was absolutely amazing, like so humble to be where he is and to be the owner of Celebrity Boxing. And just his energy is amazing. He's a great person to work with. And you know, like he, everyone loves him. Everyone that meets him yeah. loves him. I had the pleasure myself of hosting a Celebrity Boxing event some years ago when it was Christine Curran from Dining Divas against Nat D, Natalie D. Donato from of the VH1 Mob Wives. And what an experience it was. What a world-class organization. The, the ring was right on the water there in Fort Lauderdale. It was awesome, awesome. So Jenna, where are you going from here with the celebrity boxing uh, organization? So from here, I will be appearing in the ring on May 20th, 2023. And I will be a ring girl for Celebrity Boxing in that event, in that fight. That is awesome. And we look forward to it. And we thank you for coming on TBT Podcast, The yes. Berman Team. I see you have uh, one of our TBT modeling. Yes, I sure on. do. Um, I got decked out in TBT apparel. And I just want to tell everyone, everyone listening to this, uh, we have 10X Law. And if you're involved in an accident anywhere, in any 50, all 50 states, the Berman team, Berman Law Group, this is where you want to come. You can actually message me directly on my social media at king.of.connecticut, spelled out on Instagram, or Matthew J. Granahan on Facebook. And message me. I love helping people. And with Berman Law Group and the and TBT brand, we help people get the restitution that they deserve and they need for these injuries. And it has been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show, Jenna. Thank you for having me. Um, I love TBT. I love this organization. And I'm so excited to be working with you guys and to be on your show. Excellent. And where Jenna and I go from here, we're going to head over to our main facility. This is our media center. And we're going to put Jenna in our judge's chair <laughs> and we're going to give her a tour of our TBT exclusive training center. Uh, and we want to thank you all for listening. Everybody have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much. Follow me on Instagram, Jensta underscore XO. Thank you.